Hello and God bless. Um, I know I have this uh, YouTube channel and I usually don't post videos of myself. Um, but throughout the day today, I I kept um, feeling um, from God to uh, share a part of my testimony. And uh, I'll try to make this video as short as possible. But I just want to start off by saying that, you know, if you've ever felt at, at a point in your life where as many of us have, I'm sure, um, that there is no hope and that you're not enough or that you're insufficient to fulfill this dream that God has placed over your life, then I today I'm telling you that you're wrong, that there is a hope, that there is something greater that God wants to do with you. And um, I am a, a living testimony of that. And I want to start off by... a. Uh, um, sharing this part of my life um and um i i am a survivor of over 13 um suicide attempts um and i can tell you today that i am here because of god's will i am here because of god's grace and god's mercy over my life and um you know i struggled all my life with insecurities i struggled with feeling like i wasn't enough up until you know recently i can say that that i have um god has helped me break through that but growing up i i, I always felt like i wasn't sufficient i always felt like everything i did was just not good enough and um i ended up feeling so neglected and and um, I want to share a verse that has really spoken to my life and I hope it ministers to um, any of you guys who are watching this. Um, it is found in Isaiah 43 verse 19. It says, see I, am the, see, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Now, I want to repeat this again. See, I am doing a new thing. He's making something new. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Do you not realize? Do you not understand? Are you not aware that God is trying to make something new with you in your life? And the reason why he did not allow me to take my life away and the reason why I'm still standing today is because there is a purpose with my life. A purpose that had not been fulfilled yet. And that's why I am here. Um... I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. It came to the point where I finally realized I was that wasteland that God was speaking about in that verse. A wasteland is an unused area. It is a land that has become unproductive. Something that's bleak or neglected, a neglected area. And for years, um, that, last, that last one spoke to me, a neglected area. For years, I neglected myself. For years, I allowed others to neglect me and I allowed others' definitions of me become the definition that I saw, the definition that I believed was true when it was not true. God created me to birth out a purpose, to birth out his dreams. And for so long, I was so scared. I was afraid of the potential that I had inside of me. And I bubbled myself up. I, I, I caged myself up in... um in all these lies about me when in reality it t it came to the point where i i had to stand up and say god i am allowing you to do that to to create that new thing inside of me i am allowing you to make a way in the wilderness in this desert that i'm going through i believe that you can make a way and i will walk through that way in confidence and I'm not going to tell you that it's easy. It's been difficult, really difficult to take that step and, and to believe God. Because how can you take that step? It takes a lot of faith to take a step into a place that you do not know, into an unknown place. And for, for, for a long time, God had been ministering to me saying, you have to have faith in me and take the step into my unknown. Because I... I I, I don't know what's behind that door. I didn't know what was behind that door. The door of God's purpose for my life. I did not know what was behind that door, but it took me um, finding that courage within me, within my spirit to say, you know what? I don't know what's behind that door. 
and I don't know what's far along this path, but God, I'm going to walk through this path and I'm going to allow you to guide me. I'm going to allow your spirit to guide me because your word tells me that you know what's best for me, that your plans are for greatness in my life. And and I, if, I, if I can't believe that, then what can I believe? And so it takes you, you to finally step up in faith and encourage and walk into the unknown of God, no matter what it is. We don't know what, what's behind that door. But you just have to trust the Lord. Trust that He wants the best for your life. And it came to that point where I finally, tr you know, I finally um, held on to His promise. I finally stepped out in faith. And I, I, I didn't know what was to come. And it's been difficult. It's been a hard road. But every day is worth it. Because every day, God's love and God's mercy and God's, God's um, joy in my life has been enough for me. No matter how hard the days are and no matter what trials I have come to face, it never mattered because at the end of the day, I have God's presence and I have His love and I have His mercy and, and that is sufficient. He is sufficient for me and He is sufficient for you. He is sufficient for everything that you're dealing with. He is sufficient for for you and, and never feel like you're not enough because you are enough. He created you for greatness. He created you to birth out his dreams. And he, he created you to birth out the vision that he has placed over your life. But it is up to you. And I tell you, take courage and step out in faith. God bless.